so far in this weather, it hasn't froze up at all. I'd show you what it looks like, but it's a little gross right now. The act of breathing in the wonder of life. This experience is a big part of the beauty of fleeting snow. The chickens like to poop on the handle. As you can imagine, when it comes time to refill their water, there's no way of getting around it. You just have to grab that poopy handle and twist it off. Well, the snow is melting. Kind of sad to see it go. It was pretty well it lasted. Here in the Willamette Valley, snow never really does stick around for very long. We don't usually see so many of the cows right up here next to the fence by the road. It's the next day, and we got another dusting of snow. Not very much, and it's expected to turn to rain this afternoon. Should be all gone again by the end of the day, I think. But in this video, I think I'll show you a little more of how we take care of our animals in this cold weather. The ice in the buckets isn't very thick. Pretty easy to break it up with that little stake. But I've also got a bucket of warm water from inside that I can top off some of these buckets. And that should actually keep it from freezing up a little bit longer than just breaking it up with a stake.
taking care of the goat's water is relatively easy. The rabbits and the quail typically are a little bit harder to do when it's cold out like this. The rabbit and quail water a lot of times will freeze up a little easier than the goat water does. So you have to just bring them in, completely thaw them out, fill them up with warm water, bring them out for the rabbits a few times a day so they don't just have frozen water and can't drink anything at all. I just checked this morning and the rabbit's water seems to be doing fine. We're hovering right on the point where if the rabbits are drinking actively, they'll actually keep their own water from freezing. All that I do to check to make sure the rabbit's water is okay is give the little nipple ball waterer thing a tap to make sure that it isn't frozen up. And these rabbits are just fine. Let's check on the quails, make sure their water isn't frozen up. Looks like they're doing fine. I'll give you guys a little more food though. Oh, would you look at that? We've got an egg too. Thank you. Oscar, goat kisses, goat kisses. Oh, look at the goat kisses. Oscar, goat kisses, goat kisses, goat kisses. Yes, what a sweet goat. Remember the chicken's water that I moved inside the coop to keep it warmer? So far in this weather, it hasn't froze up at all. I'd show you what it looks like, but it's a little gross right now. My preference is to keep their water out in the run rather than inside. When it's inside the coop, the chickens like to poop on the handle. As you can imagine, when it comes time to refill their water, there's no way of getting around it. You just have to grab that poopy handle and twist it off. One trick for keeping it a little cleaner is to leave some water in that bucket that I've been using. You submerge the handle and scrub the excrement off. Then the wastewater is very convenient to just dump right in our compost bin here. As they say, wash, rinse, repeat. Nobody ever claimed homesteading was glamorous. Before we end this video, Let's take a quick look at the forest before all the snow is gone.
few days ago, it might have been a little dangerous to come this far down into the ravine. Everything was so slippery with the snow. makes you stop and see a familiar place from a new perspective. The act of breathing in the wonder of life this experience is a big part of the beauty of fleeting snow. <laughs> <laughs> 